So it was Martha Huber all along. Seems so. Edie didn't move in with Huber until after your wife received the blackmail note. My God, we almost killed an innocent woman. Like I said, I don't do refunds. But if you like, I'm willing to pay Mrs. Huber a visit. No. Just keep the money. This whole thing's been tearing me up. The nightmares, the guilt. This isn't what Mary Alice would have wanted. What would she have wanted? Answers. Hello, Mrs. Huber. Paul. Oh. Let me give you a hand. That's really not necessary. I insist. infestation problem. I wanted to take care of it before I left on my trip. Never had a problem with ants. Mary Alice and I had these little black flies once. Oh? She was so funny about it. She ran out and bought herself a can of poison something to spray them down. So she's taking aim at one of the counter and she just uh, stops, puts the can down. Couldn't do it. She told me later it felt too personal. Literally couldn't kill a fly. That's how gentle she was. Then you must have lived with quite a few flies. I'm going to have to say good night to you now, Paul. What are you doing here? I want to know why. And I also know I don't want to lose you. So ask me anything you want. You just told me everything I need to know. All right. My idiot husband died and left me with a worthless pension. I was desperate for money. And it's better to take it from a bad person than a good one. How was I supposed to know she'd shoot herself? She was a good person. A good person who leaves her child motherless? Read the Bible, Paul. Suicide's a big no-no. Don't you feel any remorse whatsoever? Why should I? Your wife didn't kill herself because I wrote a note. She killed herself because of what she did to that poor baby. But rest assured, I'm praying for Mary Alice. After what she did, she'll need all of our prayers. 